We acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the graduates. Redirected you, supported you, reported you, and watched 
as you, the class of 2021, became a very special group to Charlton Rural. You displayed your talents in many venues across the province. You made us proud. You represented yourselves, your family, your school community, as any Raider would be expected to do. Thank you for that. I want to recognize two staff members who are retiring at the end of this school year. Mrs. Donna Gill has been an integral part of Charlottetown Rural for over 35 years. As a biology teacher, she has instilled a love of science and a passion for learning in approximately 6,500 students over her career. She has been a leader in our science department, a mentor to beginning teachers, and a friend to all she needs. She has worked tirelessly to help students reach her high standards and encourage them to challenge themselves further by participating in science fairs, Shad Valley, or the Biogenius Challenge. Mrs. Skill has been an invaluable member of the CRHS community, and her presence will be missed. Mrs. Nancy Connolly has had a varied teaching career, teaching French in schools in Nova Scotia, as well as PEI. For the past 10 years, it's been our pleasure to have her on the little staff. She's taught all three grades the provincial curriculum and has worked in our international baccalaureate program as well. Mrs. Connolly held high standards for her students and herself. They worked hard to learn the language and to learn to use the language. We wish both ladies all the best in their retirement. When their name is read, students will come to the stage using the nearest access point. That side or that side. Students will be asked, asked to stop at the stand where Mr. McIsaac will place their diploma. Please maintain social distance, but feel free to pause beside Mr. McIsaac for a photo opportunity. We would ask that parents and guardians take pictures from their seats. You may stand if you need to, but please remain standing beside your chair. Students will exit the stage the same side as they entered and returned to their seats. Now we will begin with the presentation of diplomas. Graduates in zones one and two, please rise, remove your mask, and place it on your chair. The ushers will direct you to form a line. Kate 
Eighth is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Ellie Conahan. <laughs> Ellie is awarded a Charlottetown Rural Home and School Prize. Tyson Finn. Tyson is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Ashlyn Kelly. <laughs> Ashlyn is awarded the Helen Huron Scholarship and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 Award. Ethan Keogh. <laughs> Ethan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Diego Curie Uribe. Diego is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Rebecca Lebrec. <laughs> Rebecca is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $2,000 Award. Chloe is awarded the Corey Stevenson Memorial Scholarship and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 award. Abigail McPherson. Abigail is awarded at the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 award. Gavin Mason. <laughs> Gavin is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Lauren McEntee. Lauren is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Achievement $2,000 award. I would invite Mark Parsons to the stage. Sam Parsons. Owen Spruill. <laughs> Owen is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Matthew Velma. Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 Award.
Thomas Zhao. Thomas is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Brandon Younger. Brandon is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Students in Zone 3 and 4, please rise, remove your mask, place it on your chair, and form a line as directed by the ushers. Nathan Bruce. Nathan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Lindsay Duran. awarded the St. Martha's Knights of the Columbus Award in memory of Father Charlie Chivery and a UPPI Student Achievement $2,000 Award. <laughs> Peter J. Peter is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Julian Jones. <laughs> Julian is awarded the Cook Insurance $1,000 Entrance Award for Business Administration students and a Holland College Defined What's Next Island $1,000 award. I invite Mike Trainer to the stage.
CNAB is awarded a prize for achievement in Accounting 801. Sierra Lublin. Sierra is awarded the Ray Gilman Award. <laughs> Josh Lund. Josh is awarded a PEI Celebrating Student Achievement $500 Award. <laughs> Drew McPhee. <laughs> Drew is awarded a $1,000 Define What's Next Island Entrance Award for Holland College. Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 Award. Cole McKeegan. Cole is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $2,000 Award. Jordan is awarded a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $1,000 award. Alexis is receiving a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $2,000 award. <laughs> Emma Bashar. <laughs> Emma is receiving a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $500 award. I would now call on Brandon McKinnon to deliver the valedictorian message to the graduates. Welcome administrators, family, teachers, and most importantly, my fellow graduates. We made it. I am so excited to say that we are the graduating class of Charlottetown Royal High School 2021. We made it through three-day lockdowns, a new way of learning, a realization that we don't want to admit that we all wanted to be at school this year. At one point this year, even though it was filled with so much unpredictability, 
This unpredictability is something that I would never want to change. It made our last year as a Raider a more memorable one, and one that history will remember as well. I don't want to spend this whole speech talking about the pandemic, though. I'd imagine that we have all seen enough news coverage and had to write self-reflections to last us another school year. So let's just end with this statement, COVID-19 sucks. But our time at the Rural certainly did not. This year was filled with wins, losses, triumphs, and failures. These words may sound like polar opposites, but in my eyes, they all lead to one final destination of our own personal success. Today, when I look at our graduating class, I see a destination of success for all of us. When I started to write this speech, I googled how to start a valedictorian speech because I really had no clue where to start. The one thing that honorsociety.org said was, and I quote, whatever you do, do not talk about Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. But anyways, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines success as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. What I think we sometimes fail to remember is the accomplishment, aim, or the purpose the definition talks about is not set by our society, friends, or family, but us and no one else. We choose what we want our successes to be, and when we let others choose it for us, we lose track of what we truly want in our lives. When I look at all of us, I see future medical professionals, leaders, adventurers, entrepreneurs, engineers, climate change activists, advocates for injustice, as well as global citizens and people who care about how our actions affect us, ourselves, friends, family, our planet, and our society. This year has taught us a valuable lesson, that stability is never guaranteed. School has given us comfort and steadiness, but life is full of bumps, bruises, and hard decisions. And now, it's time for us to make these hard decisions on ourselves. But before we head out, I would like to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you to the administrators, Mr. McIsaac, who hopefully enters a poker league, because his poker face is the best poker face that I personally have ever seen. But he has always been caring and welcoming to us all in the two years we've met him. Ms. Bryden, the brains behind SAS, who made sure we even qualified to be here today and receive our diplomas. Mr. Wynn, our in-house drill sergeant, who always wanted the best for us all. And Ms. Ryu, who may want to invest in a Fitbit or a GPS so we can track her down and count her steps. <laughs> Thank you to the teachers who spend their lives dedicating and bettering others. Don't forget to thank them before we leave today. You will never know what a lasting impact and how much you have changed our lives. Thank you to the support staff who kept our clean school organized and of course this year especially sanitized. Thank you to our parents and guardians for being there from the very beginning. They walked us into kindergarten holding our hands and now they are here to walk us out of high school, maybe not holding our hands this time. And finally, my fellow graduates, thank you for being on this journey with me. We somehow made it here even without finishing grade 11, which I believe is an accomplishment in itself. We have a lifetime supply of smiles, laughter, and memories, and it truly is an honor to be graduating with you, graduating with you all today. I would like to end today off with a coup. Sorry, I'm in quote. Uh, there are two primary choices in life, to accept the conditions as they exist, or to accept the responsibility for changing them, Dr. Dennis Bailey, and let us be the ones who make that change. I have been honored to be a valedictorian, and congratulations to the Charlottetown Road graduating class of 2021. Leave your handprints on the world because your legacy is something that will outlive you and never will truly be forgotten. Please rise. The tassel on your mortar represents student goals while at school. At this time, you may move the tassel from the right side of your mortar to the left side, symbolizing the achievement of your goals. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you with the graduating class 
Charlotte Temporal, 2021. Graduates, please remember to return your gowns in the main lobby at the front door before you leave today. Thank you.